Yo, what's up guys? So this is a super fake Federa that somebody bought for about five grand and is very disappointed to know that this is uh, totally a fake. So I'm not a Federa expert, but I did look up a million pictures. There's some uh, key, uh, key things that tipped me off. First of all, was look at this finish. Look at the reflection of the light. You see how it's not moving evenly? It's kind of worming around and looks kind of all over the place. That was the first sign. And then we got some missing, uh, we got some missing stain back in here. The way this board is rounded over is kind of weird. This is just some really plain uh, rosewood. The inlays are acrylic. They're not mother of pearl or anything nice. They are nicely put in though. Uh, the frets are really soft and kind of chewed up and not seated all the way at all. Let's see if I can kind of get a shot of that. Yeah, you see this gap under the frets? That's under all of them. They just weren't seated all the way. And uh, I don't think that would happen on an $8,500 handmade Federa. Another thing I noticed is this, uh, the name Federa on here is stamped on this bridge and on the real ones it's engraved. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty big difference. And then as I was looking at pictures on the internet of these, I realized the shape is all messed up. This horn is supposed to kind of kind of curve out a little bit and be thinner. It does definitely doesn't curve this way, it curves the other way. And then this part, you know, is supposed to be in like that and then the whole thing's kind of stretched out a little bit more. It's just the wrong shape. And then on the headstock, um, the logo, they used real ab, but it just looks off. The whole thing, the F, everything just looks a little bit off and there's a lot of filler. Some of the ones I saw had filler like that, but it just, just looks wrong. And then look at how this corner right here rounds off early. Whoa, whoa, there we go. And the whole headstock shape's just off. This truss rod cover is like really cheap aluminum and the edges are really sharp and it's like crudely cut. Look at this, this hard edge right here. You can totally cut yourself on this thing. The nut is really crudely done. This is not a, uh, look at that. This is not a super high quality uh, brass nut. I mean, it's got the brass, but it wasn't really well made, that's for sure. The fret ends are actually pretty nice. Uh, pickups are unlabeled. They look and feel cheap. They look like what would come on a really inexpensive made in China guitar. The knobs are not perfectly centered. Uh, looking through the back of my camera, it's kind of hard to tell through the video, but these are not perfectly centered. They didn't use a jig to drill these out. They did these by hand for sure. And then this one's spaced out and they're really close to each other. Some of the real ones are like that. This output jack doesn't have a washer. It has a cheap nut on it. It's oddly placed kind of off to the side, not nicely centered or anything. Um, and then on the back, we've got no serial number, no made in USA. There's no wings, all the ones I found on the internet. And if I got some Federa experts in here, please feel free to go in the comments and share what you see. Uh, everyone I've seen has wings and this this joint is totally different on the real ones. These hip shots feel really nice, but I'm not even sure they're real, man. Look at how they stamped that. That doesn't look, doesn't look quite right. Hip shot licensed? Maybe that's why. They just don't look quite right. They're nice tuners though. They don't have any slop and they feel really nice and hip shots are great. Uh, the finish overall feels like a Squire and it's just not, Especially in here, this is not level and nice. This is rough and lumpy. Yeah, look at this reflection right here. It's kind of goes all over the place. Yeah, look right there. Look at that warp. Warp. And this whole neck joint is totally different looking. I mean, it's similar, but it's not, it's not the same as any one I could find on the internet. I went through like 10 pages of Google images to try to find one that looked just like this. Could not find it. Um, yeah, even like this, this curve right here gets a little weird. That's not a, that's not a nice handmade $8,500, uh, thing of some guy who's world renowned for being an amazing bass maker. Yeah, and look at, look at the reflection here, how this gets weird. It's just like, gets wavy and weird. It's not right. Ooh, look at this. This is a big compression crack. This is uh, this crack was in the wood before it was finished, and they should have taken that out, but they didn't because it's a fake. 
yeah, man, this dude paid like five grand for this thing. And uh, I was a little disappointed. Yeah, this top is like absolutely not spectacular. And the top is a veneer. You can see the edge. I don't know if this will show up on camera. Oh, come on, focus, dude. There we go. This piece of wood is different from this piece of wood. You can see the line. Yeah, man, this thing is... Ooh, there's a weird lump right here under the finish. Totally fake. Let's uh, let's take a look at the control cavity. Ooh, here's another big crack. Look at that. Look at this. That is a compression crack, which could be filled and sanded out before finishing, but nobody uh, did that. Ooh, it's going all the way up here, it's spreading. Nasty. Oh, here's another one. We got compression cracks all over this thing. Let's uh, let's bust this cover off real quick. Take a look in here. Look at this mess. Look. Who knows who made this preamp? There's a battery box just sitting in here. Oh, that's that's nice. And these electronics do not work. Super cheap Chinese pots, um, really bad wiring. I don't know if, if these electronics came from the factory where this was made or if somebody else added these in. Yeah, there's no branding. I don't, I don't have the time to take the pickups out and see what's going on there. I'm just making a quick video on my break, show you guys this thing. The output jack is some cheap Chinese. It's like, it feels worse than what comes in a Squire. Even though my Squire felt pretty nice, at least at first. Yeah, like this electrical tape. Nice. Nice, boys. Well done. So somebody bought this thing on probably, probably AliExpress or something and sold it as a real one and tried to rip, well, they did rip people off, at least one. So that's, uh, that's no good, man. Don't be a thief. Nobody likes thieves. I don't like thieves. But if you guys are in the market for one of these things, watch out. Get it in person, look at as many pictures of a real one as you can if you've never seen one before. Be really careful, man, because these things, uh, $5,000 is a lot of money, man.